Hi everybody, it's Velvet here. Thank you so much for coming and stopping by and watching my videos. I thought I would do a real short video today on some of the junk journal things that I've been making lately. I had already shown a couple of things in my previous in my previous um, video, so I thought I would show you a, a couple of more. This is um, one of those things that's made out of a junk junk mail um junk junk mail envelope and what i did was i put a tim holtz paper doll in there glued her in put a little lace and a couple of things of ephemera on here and some different papers and then inside i tucked a piece of braille i inked it up just ever so slightly it could this side could be used for journaling or you could paste some of your own ephemera on it. And I've just got it tucked just inside so it's not it's not going over top of the paper doll. So that's one thing that I've been doing. Oops, I hit the camera, so sorry. Um, and then I made this. I think this is from um, a tutorial from Melina. And I will, I will try to link the um, YouTubers who do these tutorials to um, in the description. Um, so I didn't know what I, I was doing when I picked out the paper and on the inside it's skulls. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I can cover that up. At any rate, um, you just take, I think this was a full, this was, is this 12? What is this? Um, about 11 and a half inches wide. And then um, you make three pockets out of it. So you can tuck some fun stuff in there. And then when it's closed, this is a tuck as well. Um, so I thought that kind, of, that kind of came out cool. And then I have been working on a bunch of other things. I have done a whole bunch of these little vellum envelopes that everybody seems to be doing these days. Um, there's my tiniest one. So all you do is you take a piece of paper and you fold it in and you kind of cut the corners so that they fold nicely. Um, but before you fold it in, you attach some vellum to the inside of it. And then you can decorate the outside, slip something in here if you want to. And these are some of them that I've done. This was fun. This was a lot of fun. I didn't have a whole lot of... Um, vellum that had images on it so a lot of these are plain vellum um, this one happens not to be but uh, for example this one is a plain vellum with a nice picture on the inside that's a book page that I used for this one and there's some more I love how these ones turned out with the old book pages And then you just glue them into your into your junk journal. What I'll probably do is I'll just glue the three sides so that there's a tuck here and then this pocket here. Oops, I keep hitting that. I'm sorry. And then this one. Got a lot of Tim Holtz stuff here. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, I did um, some rectangular ones. Some vintage stuff. I love the lace on that one. And then I made um, some little journaling spots to go into the junk journal. And then what you can do is you can glue along here and then make that a tuck. And then there's just a little... I can't believe that I made the sewing come out right <laughs> since I don't really know how to sew. At any rate, it's another journaling spot. And then I did it like that. And what else do we have here? Oh, these were fun. Again, I think these were from Melina Scrapbooking with Me, I think, is her spot. Or her, her um her YouTube channel. Um, so all you do is you just take a rectangular piece of paper and you're folding it in, making a little notch here so that this becomes a tuck. 
and then this becomes a pocket and then you can glue along the three sides and there's a tuck there. So I just stuck a couple of um, plain tags in for some extra drilling. And here's one without the tags in it. I like these. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we've got a couple of pockets with, um, with vellum. I wonder if this is in shadow. If it is, I'm sorry. I don't have the best lighting right now. Um, so I used some printed vellum on top of a book page on top of some cardstock and just made an envelope out of it. Um, and then, again, I will glue the three sides so that there's a tuck behind it. And then this one's like that, too. This one I just decided to embellish just a little bit. But I think the vellum is so pretty that it's, you know, you don't really want to cover it up too much. So that's how that turned out. So I made a bunch of these. I like these. And then for the thumb notch, I just made, I just used a circle punch um, halfway to do that. What else? Oh, these I just did yesterday or the day before. I can't remember the tutorial, but I will find it and I will try to link it. Um, so you're just, you're basically just ripping the pa paper and gluing it. So it's, you know, it's a solid piece of paper on here, but before you put it on, you're ripping this out so that you can see what's behind it. And it becomes um, basically an envelope or tuck spot. And then you can tuck behind here too got some old basic gray on here. I just stocked up on basic gray that I found. I happened to find a whole bunch of it online and so I stocked up on it. It used to be my very favorite paper. And then I made um, a bunch of tags. Just some, you know, just some fun tags to stick in pockets and tucks. Um, this is what I got for my birthday last week, this punch here. And that's what it that's what it looks like. And then here's some more here. I did a little bit of stamping, some stickers. Um put a little vellum there. A little bit of cheesecloth. And then I made a tuck, I put a tuck here. This is just an envelope that I made, oh, yesterday, I think, just, this is actually, this is actually paper from the backing from a package of stickers that I got, so I just inked it up, threw some paper on top, um, half of a coffee dyed doily stickers, and threw some journaling spots in there. What have we got here? Oh, I bought a whole bunch of, um... The book, the library book cards and, and the stickies that go with them. I think I had that in the last video. So I just inked it up. This can be a journaling spot on both sides. And then I'll stick it into a junk journal. Um, this is just an envelope that I made. I stuck this in there for journaling. And then I stuck this in there just to add some interest. And then last, the thing that I've been doing today is I watched um, a tutorial on Pam's YouTube, Pam from the Paper Outpost, and she showed how to make these adorable little envelopes out of a six by six piece of paper. So this one was a little thick. Um, so you get the idea. So it's all kinds of folds, fold, so your first step is to fold this up. Then you fold this in, go like that, fold this in, fold this in, fold, fold this over, and then like that. And then so when it's opened up, it becomes a big um, journaling spot and you just glue the back onto your page. So here's a couple of them that I, that I made. This paper here is a nice thin paper from Spellbinders. It's an old um, pack that I had. I hate when they put the hole through there because then you can't actually, when you cut it to six inches, it's right 
through the whole. I just don't understand why anybody would do that, but that's just me. So at any rate, that's how these turned out. This was a weird piece of paper, so I'm glad I got to use it that way. And then this one is drying. I put um, some Nouveau drops on there. And so that's really what I've been up to lately. Um, so thank you for stopping by and watching my video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.